Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to solve this problem. Given is a large square in which a small square is inscribed such that the corner of the small square is located at the center of the large square. That sounds a little bit confusing, so let's take a look at the picture first. We have our large square here. And in this large square, we have the small square such that the corner of the small square is located at the center of the large square. We are also given this side of length 6. And the question is, what is the size of the red marked area? Okay. That's what we have to find. I call the size of this area A and we need the length of the sides since it is a square, both sides are of equal length. So if I call this X, we have X here as well and the area is X times X, so X squared. This is what we have to find. If we know X, we can find the area. Okay, let's try to find the length of x. The only information we get is that from the center to the corner, this side is of length 6. That also means that from the center to this corner, we also have length 6, as well as from the center to this corner here, this side is of length 6, and as well from the center to this corner, length 6. How does that help us now? Well, we've built a triangle here and one side of the triangle is of length x, what we want to find. And it is not any triangle, it is a right triangle because of our square here. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find out the length of x. For that, we have to find the hypotenuse first. The hypotenuse always lies across the right angle. So if we have the right angle here, this side across that, this side here is our hypotenuse. Okay, then we also need the length of this side here, but it's the same as this one. So it is of length x. And then we're ready for the Pythagorean theorem. That says, take one of the sides of your right triangle, not the hypotenuse, one of the other sides. So we take this one, it's x and square this, okay. Then add the length of the other side, not the hypotenuse yet. So the length of the other side is x and square this as well. And that equals, and now take the hypotenuse, it is of length 6 and square this as well. We have one equation. We can solve this equation for x. We could simplify the left side. We have x squared plus x squared. This is two of those green x squared then. And on the other side, we have 6 squared. That is 36. If we want to solve our equation for x, we have to get rid of this 2 here. So we can just divide both sides by 2 so that the 2 cancels out on the left side and only x squared is what is left. And on the other side, 36 divided by 2 is 18. We could go further and solve this equation for x or we could stop here, be a little smarter and take a look at what we need. We just found out x squared is 18 and we need x squared for our area. So we stop here because we've already found what we need. x squared equals 18 and that is the size of our area. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.